Any character deaths. Number one. Even though he's an anti-hero, killing the cow was not a decision Peacemaker took lightly. You can see his longing to save his planet, but also the weight of these choices bearing down on him. What do you say? Activate human torpedo. I just feel bad for Leota, who ended up inside that thing. Number two. While this moment has pretty colors and nice music playing over it, Starro's death is brutal when you think about it. Cleo attacks him using her rat controlling ability, and Harley Quinn watches as they begin to eat Starro from the inside. Number three. This moment in Man of Steel proves you don't need blood and gore for brutality. Superman either has to kill Zod or let him kill innocent humans. Either way, the blood is on his hands. Never. The sound of his neck snapping is brutal, and to top it all off, you've got Superman's heart-wrenching scream. Number 4. Once again, we've got Peacemaker doing things that aren't very peaceful for the sake of the greater good, or at least, what he believes to be the greater good. He kills Rick to keep Project Starfish secret, believing it would prevent the deaths of many, and that means making a really difficult decision. We get a whole Mortal Kombat x-ray of his death too, which makes it that much more brutal. And then Rick Flagg says what we've all been thinking. Peacemaker. What a joke. Number 5. As Arthur slowly loses his sanity, his good old friends go to check up on him, neither of them realizing it would end in a very violent death. <laughs> And that's just the beginning of it. It gets even worse as he continues to beat Randall's head into the wall after stabbing him. Don't look. Just go. Number 6. There's no doubt that Harley Quinn can be pretty savage. And if anyone is going to be able to stand up against Black Mask, it's going to be her. I'm the one they should be scared of. Because I'm Harley Quinn. The way this plays out is hilarious. Not to mention pretty gory too, considering we end up seeing Black Mask get blown into bits. I took your ring. My ring? Dope. <laughs> Number seven. It's nice to see King Shark make some new friends and get a chance to see he isn't always mindless and brutal. New dumb friends. <laughs> <laughs> but when the fish tank explodes, we get to see him take out his anger on the soldiers not long after. <laughs> Number 8. Like we saw earlier, Black Adam is a savage, and this final battle between him and Sabak is no different. The wizard's powers were wasted on you. You are not a hero. No. I'm not. But he is. Black Adam may be a bad guy in some eyes, but here he's doing the right thing by taking down someone who's so much worse. The way he kills Sabak is so brutal and badass. Tell him the man in black sent you. Number 9. We saw earlier that Starro died a pretty painful death, but that's not nearly as bad as the death it inflicted upon Thinker. What did you people get? Right then and there, he knew he messed up. The moment Starro got its tentacles on Thinker, he was a goner. Okay, we gotta calm down. Let's all just, let's, let's talk about this. But begging for his life doesn't save him, and he ends up dying one of the most painful, disgusting, and gory deaths in the entire DCEU. I didn't mean to hurt you! <laughs> Number 10. The Suicide Squad really has no problems with showing the craziest deaths ever. I mean, what a way to start a movie. Boomer's death just looks painful and terrible, and his death is just one of many. They end up killing off like 90% of the characters they just introduced. Savant, I'm warning you, this is desertion. This is your last chance. Turn back around. 